Welcome to Raspberry on a boat? No, in a garden. Today we will install a solar module, not on a boat, this comes later by the way, but in the garden. Um, what we want is to replace these cheap throwaway solar LEDs with a high quality light, with a solar module and a battery. And we will switch it with the Raspberry of course. Let's go! Instead of throwing away each year the cheap LEDs with integrated solar, I decided to buy an own solar module to switch a high quality string light and a spotlight, or two spotlights in this case, to illuminate some trees here. And um, Node Red will be used to switch the light on and off. Um, and we use a charge controller, a cheap charge controller here to charge the battery. And our Raspberry will use GPIOs to switch on and off these little CMOS transistors which are connected to yeah, the string light and the spots. We can um, switch them independently. First of all, we should make a little shopping list for you. So you need a solar module, 10, 15, 20 watt are usually what peak enough for what we are going to do. Um, so charging a little battery during daytime, which just must feed some LEDs for some hours at nighttime. So I took this one, a 20 watt uh, solar module, which I mounted in the garden. This one has no MC4 plugs, which are typically used. So this one must be directly connected with the cable, which is fine for me for this purpose. You need a battery, of course, a rechargeable battery. I used an AGM battery, which you get for this little capacity, which we need quite cheap. So I took a seven amp hours battery, nine amp hours would be, of course, a bit better if you have maybe more lights. Of course, you can increase this, but uh, usually for our um, setup, this, this is more than enough. To get the battery charged during daytime, we need a charge controller. There are cheap charge controllers existing. This one, for example, has a USB output and this for just 20 bucks. So you can drive your Raspberry Zero with that. You can even use a Pico, which is uh, then taking even less current. I use my existing Raspberry, so I didn't use the USB port, but it's a nice option. It will uh, connect to uh, the solar module, of course and it will connect to an output and this output can be switched on only at night time. It will measure the voltage of the solar module and if this drops a lot it knows it's getting dark. I didn't use this because I wanted to switch not the whole night the lights on just for some hours so I used the Raspberry to do this. And you need some cables. Um, you need usually four square millimeters is the yeah, smallest one for solar but for a really really little solar module like 20 watt peak 2.5 is enough but you should take it a protected one so against sunlight protected and usually they are quite thick um, and also sometimes expensive but it's necessary otherwise it will get stiff and broken so just buy the right one from the beginning. Also for the LEDs, you need the right cable. I prefer the Ölflex, which is a German manufacturer, and it, he offers also 0.75 square millimeters in a sun-protected cable housing or um, rubber, so that you can use this one perfectly to connect your, your LEDs. You also need a trigger switch, um, you can use a normal MOS and uh, uh, NMOS transistor, but I prefer to have a complete module. Even on this module, I had to solder to get here also a pin connector on top. Um, but uh, here you have already an LED and the resistors which you need so that this is easy to install. And even if you know how this works, it's easier to have a have module. So this one will switch our LEDs. Either you buy two or if for you is one is enough. If you just want to switch them all together, you buy just one. 
Of course, you also need a light a LED. And I found this one, the Salser Garden LEDs, and I'm very happy with this one. They have a great uh, mounting uh, option and also the quality is very good. So they have 12 volt LEDs in a normal um, E20 seven mounting so i will link this uh, with an affiliate link but i didn't uh, get paid to make some advertisement here this is really i just looked for some interesting leds and this one was the best looking one and I, i'm also satisfied with it i did cut the plug and used uh, the cable i mentioned to extend it um, and i used this one for the uh, spot that's okay, let's say. The cable is very thin but, uh, the, and the light is very bright. So uh, for me, it would be okay if it's a little bit darker, maybe less, taking less watts. So it takes two watts. And this is really impressive. One LED here takes just 0.3 watt. So that's great because it, the little one has nine, I think, nine LEDs. So it's less than, uh, 0. Point, uh, less than three watts, so 2.7 watts for the whole uh, chain so that's that's good and this one takes nearly the same for one but it's okay as well so um you're fine with that um and then we are ready to go so let's do the hardware setup together quickly um you need to connect of course first the solar module with the charger so you need the two wires for this little module as i said 2.5 square meters are enough usually uh, bigger diameters are used. Uh, now the battery can be charged by the charger and we have already the main components set up. Here you should use sun protected cable on the other side if this is indoors of course you can use uh, normal cables. Then we want to switch the lights. We can connect them directly to the charger, but then only this night day mode is possible or always on or always off um, pressing the button, so manually. So we don't want to do that. So we need to connect these with the output of our uh, NMOS transistors here. And of course, we also need uh, to connect here the output with the MOS transistor. The MOS transistor also needs, uh, of course, the trigger pin. So we can use any ground pin here to connect this to the trigger and of course to the other one as well. Not sure if this or this is the trigger, but it's labeled now. And then you need some uh, GPIOs. Let's. Uh, I can't remember which one I took. I think I took these two. We will see this later. Uh, one for this trigger switch, and another one for this trigger switch. And then we will use Node Red to set up. Uh, this is, by the way, a good one on these NMOS. 3.3 volts are enough to switch the 12 volts here, so we don't need to change this to 5 volts. Uh, we don't need another transistor or something like that. So we can switch with 3.3 volts directly the 12 volts and with the driver It's always fully open. So um, With this setup we are ready to go and Switch on and off the lights with note red and a timer function So I wanted to use a, a timer. There are a lot of uh, timers available you can download so i used where is it where is it this uh, not simple time this timer switch lip there are other timers available you need to decide which one you take but this one is quite simple from the options you can just put on an on time and off time and it will automatically send on and off you can put other payloads in however it's always a string this is a little pity because um, what we want to switch is a switch so when we take a look i did set switches here these switches are really simple dashboard switches but they need true and false and you can't change this to a string so and they also need to send them to all gpio outputs so um, what i did is i did set this boolean function here and this is doing nothing else it's a change node then 
setting the payload um, to true if this function is given. So it's a function, it's a, a expression, and it says if payload is set to on, it's true automatically because it's a test. And if it's not set to on, it could be anything else. There's no need to be off, but it uh, usually should be off. Otherwise, it will uh, set a false. So we can see this when we just make a little debug node here and we deploy this. Oh, we maybe need a switch to test this now. And we need to set this one here to boolean true so we can enable it and this one to false so that we can disable it deploy it and now we can set it to false or to true and we see that um, our payload shows false and true and when I remove this connection and just put it there so that you see that this is not a trick and we set a true and we set now a false we get an off and we get an on so this is a string as you can see here and we are changing this back to true and false we don't need these manual switches because what we will do is now is placing an own switch so we take a switch from the dashboard um, library you can put it in the group you want to or create your own group I used an own custom icon there you can define the icon and the color um, when you want to see which icons are available uh, you can see this also on the dashboard because here are the links uh, so the material design angular components can be used and there are other links as well the font awesome symbols for example all these names can be used and um, I did use uh, the light bulb outline icon and then I took two colors one is white and one is a, a yellow one so that when I switch on um, I don't have a button here I have this icon which is switching to yellow and la the last thing we need is the GPIO out so that when the switch is pressed either on the dashboard manually or by our timer it will uh, switch the according GPIO so you need to set the one which uh, you connected the wire to as a digital output because it's then 3.3 volts high or 0 volts low which directly will switch the CMOS the CMOS by the way will switch the ground wire so the one I linked not the high voltage wire so the, the um, 12 volt in this case it will switch the ground side but it will switch the ground side when it uh, when 5 volts are applied you can also define an initial stage so if the raspberry reboots and node red starts up it sh if it should start with a 0 or 1 so with ground or 3.3 volts yeah and that's mainly it um, you do the same again if you have two different uh, MOS transistors for two different LEDs and then you're ready to go you can use your timer by setting the on and off time but you can always override the timer by using the the menu here if you want to switch on the the lights at a different time or if you want to switch it off earlier or whatsoever and then you have a more hopefully longer lasting um, system using um, components which are um, with a good quality and also your Raspberry has another task so I hope you enjoyed it I hope you can use it um, stay tuned have a good day and by the way we are going to install solar on a boat as well soon see you and bye bye